I just want to give one minute. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say something really quick. It's been a year now that I've been here at Center Church, and thank you, Pastor Clark. It's been a blessing, a huge blessing. And I just want to let you know that how good God is right now. He just he spoke to me right now while I was singing. We were at a different church, me and my wife, uh, the year before that. We were there for two years, and I was part of the worship team for those two years that I was there. I, it was a brand new church, one of the founding members of the church. And all I wanted to do was sing worship. I wanted to just worship to the Lord. Unfortunately, I barely ever got the opportunity to do it at that church. They would just have me on the guitar. But the guitar has never been my passion. It's not something that God has called me to really use to you know, reach the congregation or, you know, speak to his children. It's always been through my voice. It's always been through singing. And I've been a singer all my life. I never got the opportunity there. I got kicked out of that church. And let me tell you why. Because I saw many things wrong with the church, and I opened up my mouth. I was, I was being bold, just like the word says. Speak out. Tell the truth of what you see. And I got kicked out because of doing that. I did the same thing with Pastor Clark two weeks ago, well, a month ago. I came in and said, hey, I think some things need to change here and there. This is a real pastor right here. He opened up his arms. He said, Simon, write everything down, and let's talk, and let's figure this out together. Awesome, awesome pastor. Instead of kicking me out, he heard me out. He says, look, God, God has put this in my heart. I just feel like when we do these little tweaks, Center Church could look different in 2024. The reason why I'm going to go back to worship real quick, I now get to sing every Sunday where I never got to sing before. I now sing every Wednesday where Pastor Lisa has given me that opportunity. And also play the guitar because she's like, you got to look cool with the guitar up there, bro. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> And so I just want to thank you, pastors. This has been a wonderful year for me and my wife and my family. My, my dad is now reading the Bible every morning, sending me messages, something he never did before. I would argue with him, like, Dad, come on, Dad, like, get, get into the Word and all this other stuff. And, you know, God has really done a number on him. He's done a 180. My mom, my daughters, my sister, who now runs two or three different Bible studies, um, who has a group of women following her. She's leading the way, using the Word. You know, my beautiful brother-in-law who shows up, helps with production here and there on the time that he's able to. He was actually, in, he was the mastermind behind all this. I'm putting this up right here. You know, and I just want to tell you how good God can do in your family as well. Keep coming. Do not give up. I've been in church for the last eight years, and I've been persistent coming every Sunday. I do miss Sunday here and there. I'm not going to lie. Not every Sunday. 99% of the time, I'm showing up on Sundays. And even when I was feeling discouraged, even when I was feeling down, you know what? I still kept showing up, and that's what it's about. You need to just show up. Even when you're feeling sick, when the weather is bad, when things are going wrong, that's the exact time when you need to show up. When you don't feel like coming, I'm telling you right now, you don't feel like coming to church, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's the enemy trying to keep you from coming to church. So you need to show up to church. You need to get here to church. You need to surround yourself with people, your fellow, uh, fellow worshipers, your fellow Christians, you need to show up and be a family all together because that's what God wants. And we need to go out there and reach as many people as we can. And I'm telling you, in 2024, this room is going to be filled up. Amen. We're going to declare that. We're going to pray over that. 2024, the Center Church Sanctuary will be filled up and it will reach the entire RGV just like God has put in Pastor's heart. God bless you all. Thank you.